know what I'm hearing can't be true. Ray, you took my daughter to have an abortion and you let her go through that alone? Lola, I would never let our daughter go through something like that alone. I took her. Oh, oh my God, God. You know see my... what I'm saying? Oh my God. I told you that boy ain't no good. He's an evil trifling human being. Baby, he's already ruined your life. Now he's trying to ruin your daughter's life. Girl, when are you gonna learn? It wasn't my daddy's fault. Nisi, get out, get out of here. But mama, Nisi, get out! Grown folks got some serious talking to do. Listen, baby girl, do as your mama says and let the grown folks talk. I can handle these two lightweights. Chica, Eileen, y'all please excuse us. We got some family business to take care of up in here. <laughs> he didn't already add that out, but with pleasure. All right, so what y'all two got to say? So you don't think you should have called me before you took my 17-year-old daughter to have an abortion? Lola, why I got to call you? I'm her father. I'm perfectly capable of making an adult decision concerning my child. Oh, so ch your child? Besides having your name on a birth certificate, you haven't done anything for that child. What you mean, Bernardine? Because I haven't done enough financially? I know that's what you're talking about because that's all you care about is money and perception. See, you never gave me a chance from the very first day that you met me because I didn't fit the image in your head. But I tell you one thing for sure, two things for certain. I love my child, and she loves me. And she thinks the world of me. She thinks the world of you because you spoil her with my daughter's money. <laughs> like I said, Bernardine, it all comes back to money with you. Money and perception. You see, money is your way of trying to control things. You foolishly think that you can buy the outcome that you want. But unfortunately for you, Bernardine, well, unfortunately for you, I'm not for sale. And now there's the healing that you need. Ray, our daughter loves you, but it's because you're her friend, not her father. Lola, baby, I am very much her father. See, you have prayed and paid for that. What? See, your mom over there likes to think that y'all are so different. When in actuality, well, hell, in actuality, y'all are so much alike. <laughs> you know, you jump through all these hoops to create the image of a perfect family, and, and you like to say it's all for Nisi. But Lola, you and I know it's to spite your mother more than anything. Right, Lola, is... look at me, baby. There is nothing, I mean nothing, that I can do to make you leave me. As leaving me would make you seem like a failure to your mother over there. That is ridiculous. Is it really, Lola? Is it really? See, I've been the same Ray Ray from the very beginning, the good, the bad, and ugly, but that didn't matter to you. All you wanted was a man and a baby. Ray Ray, that's enough. You just wanted somebody to parade around in front of your mama over there and make her feel jealous. True. You know what? I hate to agree with that fool, but that uh, sounds like something you would do. And as much as you hate to agree with me, Bernadine, you do, because there's nothing to agree just to stop you from belittling your child. You know what I said, Lola brought me around to make you feel jealous? Hmm. Work to perfection. As every single time I would come around, your whole demeanor, your whole spirit would change. <laughs> you would be so rude and ugly and bitter. And here I am thinking, that you were trying to run me away to protect your daughter. When in actuality, hell, in actuality, you were trying to run me away to hurt your daughter. That's just sick. Now, y'all got some serious healing to do. <laughs>